Okay, so on this question, um, we are dealing with, let me come on down here. We are dealing with uh, square roots. So how do we handle square roots? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it over here, have a little bit more room. And um, we're gonna take the uh, square root of 80 x to the sixth times the square root of eight x to the fifth. And we're gonna, we're gonna simplify. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're gonna break down the numbers, right? So I'm gonna take the 80, just use your calculator. You could go 40 times two or 20 times four. I'm gonna go eight times 10. Anything ending with a zero, I just like to go, well, it's times 10, you know, it's just easy, but you do whatever you want. Use your calculator, it doesn't matter. It'll all be, you just keep going and it'll all be the same in the end. Two times four, 10 is two times five. Now the two is all underlined. Notice I underline them because they can't go down any further, right? But the four can go down to two times two. Oh, and the five also, the five is also underlined because he can't break down any further. So there's all the numbers from the 80. Now, what about the eight? Well, two times four, the two can't go down any further. Four is two times two, all right. So I broke down all the little pieces of the 80 and all the, and all, I broke down the 80 into all its little pieces, and I broke down the 8 into all its little pieces. So let's uh, put those together. So what do we have all together? Well, I'm gonna, uh, so, so careful. This is where it's easy to mess up. I would circle things just to make sure you don't drop the ball anywhere. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 twos, and a, and a 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Oh, by the way, notice I'm just lumping them all into the same square root because they're times. When they're times, right? This, this was multiplication of two square roots. When they're times, you can just lump them all together into the same square root. It makes no difference. Just put them all together, one big square root. What about the X's? Well, how many do we got here? We got six X's and five X's. And so that makes um, 11 X's, doesn't it? So I'm just lumping all the numbers together into one square root. I'm going to lump all the X's together into one square root. Now, what do we do with an odd power? Remember, for X's, we make it even and one more, huh? Remember that? Because it's going to be a two-for-one deal here, right? So we want to see an even number, and then we can ship out five. Right, you buy 10 items at Target, they're on sale two for one, you pay for five, right? So you see what I did with the X to the 11th? I broke it into 10 and one more. All right, so now let's do the ship out, right? What do square roots do? Two for one ship out. So two twos in, one two out, they're gone, two twos in, one, two, uh, and they're going to multiply on the outside, just like they were multiplying on the inside. Two more twos in, another two out. This two and this five have to stay inside to make a 10, don't they? Because they can't come out, because there's not two of them, not anymore. So they'll stay inside, go back to 10. And what about the X's? Well, 10, 10 X's on the outside here sends x to the fifth, and they're gone. And there's one x left inside. So what do we have on the outside? Two times two times two. Remember, they're multiplying, not adding. Two times two is four, times two is eight. x to the fifth. And what's inside? Square root of 10 x. Does that make sense what happened there? So one more time, when you're multiplying square roots, what you do is you just, Break them down and lump all the stuff together in one big square root. So I just took the 80, broke it down until, until these pieces wouldn't go down any further. It's called primes. Break it down to primes. And then same thing with the eight. I took the eight and broke it down to its little primes, lumped it all into one big square root. When they're multiplied, we just put them in one big square root. Same thing with the X's, six of them, five of them, that's 11 of them. Odd powers, we always make it even and one more. No. Why? Because it's a two for one deal. And so we need to even. So then we just start shipping out two for one, right? Everything's on sale, two for one. 
So two twos in, one two out, two in, right? If you're going to target, you're buying things two for one. Each of these two twos, you'll pay for one going out of the store. And then 10 X's, you'll pay for five going out of the store. They multiply on the outside. Whatever's left over on the inside multiplies as well. And so there's our answer. Now they want you to, they want you to tell them the A on the outside, the B on the inside. So I just say, okay, I can do that. This is my A right here. That's what they want right here. Eight X to the fifth. And then whatever's on the inside, they're calling that the B. That's the 10 X, right? The A on the outside, the B on the inside. There we go for that. Let's do part two now. The part two is going to be the same kind of thing. Bring it over here. This guy. And the square root of 30x times square root of 10x to the sixth. Okay, same thing again. Here we go. Break down the 30. So that'd be five times six. Well, I'll just do three times 10. Whatever. Five times six, three times 10, two times 15. Whatever you want to do, break it down until the pieces won't break down anymore. 10, 2, 2, 5. This one's a little easier, huh? Like that. Okay. And then lump it all into one big square root. Ooh, that's not a square root. All right. What do we have in there? So just Carefully count them. I'm looking at two twos, two fives, and a three. Doesn't matter what order, but I just put matching things together. Two twos, two fives, and a three. And it's and then how many X's? Eight of them and six of them. That makes eight, you know, eight, eight plus six, a total of 14 X's. On that question. Okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll handle individual, but any questions on mine so far? Just all making sense. I'll bounce around a minute to help other things. So now it's a two for one ship out. So two twos in, one two out, two fives in, one five out. And then remember the X's, 14 X's in, seven X's out, right? Because the two for one deal, that's the square roots always are, a two for one deal. So, um, so what comes out all together? Two times five is 10 X to the seventh. What's left inside the square root? Just a three, I guess, huh? Yeah, just the three. It's that little three right there. That's the only thing that couldn't come out is that three. So that goes right there. So 10, two times five, 10, X to the seventh, because two for one deal, half the X's come out, square root of three. So they want you to give it again the A and the B. The A is what's on the outside. That'd be 10, X to the seventh, the B, What's on the inside? That's the three. And so there we go. General questions on mine? Anything I can answer on how this works? So when they're multiplied, you just break them down and lump them all in one big square root and then do the two for one ship out. There we go.